The Witcher Season 1 Episode 3 titled Betway and Moon. Now this episode has essentially two stories. One is dealing with uh, Yangova with basically her wanting plastic surgery to make her look beautiful and, and all that kind of stuff. And when that happens, I won't lie, it turned into the most terrifying version of plastic surgery dealing with magic I have ever seen. AKA, I think they cut out her uterus, I think? I'm not shitting you? So, I was like, ah, okay, and it turns into, like, when that scene happened, it was also crossing paths back and forth with the grand storyline that made, that had a horror film, like a horror film creature feature vibe, but as voodoo rituals transforming stuff with that transformation, that for me was just like, okay, that's just creaky and weird and not weird, but it's just like, ugh. This is just like, oh, this is just terrifying. Um, but also you see the, what Jennifer, before going through the plastic surgery stuff, is going through. You know, she's like, I'm deformed. Um, I'm this, I'm that. I'm trying to be more swung than I, am, or than I was. And she realizes that because she's half elf, there's a bit of a... Um, Bit, a bit of a baggage that comes with her and people are a little bit like step away so more well I'm not deformed anymore I'm not this I'm not that so da da I am now beautiful in the eyes of what everybody else thinks so there's that the grand storyline which is the more horror film type thing is simply there's a creature attacking a kingdom plus town uh, there's other witches around trying to stop him, uh, stop the creature, but uh, they all get killed. But Gwyneth, Gwyneth the Oblivion, will be the one to stop the creature, to kill the creature, to capture the creature. Um, but here's the thing, I mean, the first half of, oh, the first half, yeah, essentially the first half. The first half of Gwyneth's storyline, it is basically law or special monsters unit I don't know what to call it where he is investigating he is like okay who's this creature what might it be I mean in my head I was thinking okay this is more like going to be like a werewolf situation but it's clearly not um but he it, but he's asking questions and being around finding out who a could the creature be and find out how that has come to find out the best solution to face it and you know stop it or kill it or whatever the uh whatever the the curse might be and when the final conversation the, the, the final commentation happens you're like jeez <laughs> like, like this is hard level stuff there's jump stairs where you see the creature it's not the most um lovely um creature to look at um and it just comes into this good giant action swimming a lot of swimming because remember we got this we got the creature that swims a lot uh and then you have jennifer going through the, the plastic surgery stuff basically uh with where she's going to stay awake so there's a bit of that <laughs> a lot of swimming and body twisting stuff um voodoo stuff but yeah i mean here's the thing it's a good episode it's a really good episode um it's just like it'd be interesting how the stories come across because they always talk about like <coughs> definitely with um uh curly's uh character the, the princess character is like five grows the Wyrmian, and it's like, well, he, she hasn't found them yet, so my guess, I don't know, maybe halfway through, maybe the, the sixth episode, that's when things come along, but, um, so far it seems like we are in separate, the three different sec sections of these three characters' lives, and it'll be interesting when do they, they come across, but anyway, um, yeah, good episode, good bloody horror film episode.